Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now, not too long ago, I made a rocket ship, and, well, we didn't quite go to space, but we did go as high as we could up into the sky. We managed to find the skybox, uh, and it was a great experience. It was really surreal to do something like that in survival. It was a lot of fun. Now, a lot of people in the comments, though, said, yo, Moonbow, you gotta use this thing to get on top of the warehouses. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be making some type of launch platform that I can bring with me to a warehouse, and then we're gonna use this thing to raid the roof. Now, the reason why I want to raid the roof so badly is because I am almost ready to move out to a new base. So I've been prepping for quite some time now, trying to get ready for the big move. Now, right here in this chest, look at this. I've got a ridiculous amount of brick. It's a full chest of brick, and this is gonna be pretty much what I use to start the foundation of our first move into our first independent base away from the mechanic shop. Now, I'm expecting to be ready to move into my own base really soon. It's definitely gonna be happening within this week. Uh, I'm really excited for it. Uh, now, I've already found backpacks, so I mean, oh my, I think what must be happening right now is I think since I have found so many shirts, like let me look at my torso, yeah, see, I feel like I've found like all of the shirts almost, if not all of them, most of them, so I feel like now I'm starting to find all of the other ones that I haven't found yet, despite the fact that I haven't seen really any hats. Now this is a new backpack though, this is like, oh, okay, it's like a courier style backpack, it's really nice, but I feel like this one is just too good with the fact that it fits right to that harness. So my plan for the video then is, uh, it's almost nighttime. Well, it is nighttime now, so during the night I am going to build the portable launch pad for this miniature ship. So let's just see what our number two garment box is. Okay, it is another shirt. What does that say? You're playing the game wrong? This shirt, it just reminds me of like, it's like this is reading the YouTube comments right here printed on a shirt. So I'm gonna get started on this portable launch pad and then I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so this is what I've got so far for the portable launch pad. Now it's a really simple design. The idea is I'm gonna drive up to the warehouse. We've got one over there off in the distance. Uh, we drive up to it. I break this block and then on this side right here, I have a switch that I can use to change the height. Now, one thing to note is I did use the uh, diamond plated block. They have a pretty high friction rating, so that means they should hopefully stick a little bit better. But I think the idea is I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna break the one block right here. Now, I just realized, uh-oh. Okay, this is, this is swinging down. Okay, maybe, maybe I have to fix a couple things. Now, I realize not only do I need to fix uh, this pipe that's swinging down in the way, but I might need to stop the entire shuttle from slipping downward as well. So I'm going to connect that to a controller. Now, when I'm driving, I'm going to disconnect it. And then once I get here and I'm ready to launch, I'm going to connect it just to make sure it doesn't swing down like that again. Maybe I can do like uh, something like this. Now, things don't connect to thrusters on their sides, it seems like. So this won't have a problem. I could probably even like cover it all the way up so it doesn't even have to drop in. So I'm gonna add one second layer right here, just like that. Now I think when I disconnect this, it should just drop down. So I guess this is gonna be test number one for our portable launch pad. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, I just realized, no, so here's another problem. Now because I have this here, I bet you when I launch, we're gonna rub up against it and it's going to cause us to flip over. Now, I'm going to do the test here before we go to the warehouse. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's just, it's the smart thing to do. Okay, so that's our one key. Now, let's just try and launch up into the air. Yeah, did you see that? We ended up, like, pivoting over. So, I'm going to re-weld this. And I guess I should probably just try it without anything at all. Let's just see what it does. Okay, yeah, see, it dropped... It's starting to slide down. I wonder if, like, is that enough time for me to hop in? I mean, it's still sliding. Okay, now the whole thing is tipping over. Okay, hmm. I think what I need to do because of that is I need to, like, extend this section right here just a little bit so that it doesn't pivot down on the wheels. Now, I guess let's try that one more time. All right, set the pistons up. 
Now, this, the whole idea for this is that I can change the angle of our launch, right? So when I get to the warehouse, maybe if I want to be a little bit farther away from it, then I can go to this controller here, and I can drop this value down to 3, and then we're going to get uh, a little bit less of an angle, so we're, we're going to shoot up straighter into the air. But now we're going to try another launch test, so let's break the block, let's hop into the seat. Okay, we're slowly sliding, but it's not bad, and now when we launch, See, look, now we get, like, just a really nice, straight, like, direct trajectory with our, like, lateral movement, which is really perfect. Oh, look, I even landed. All right, it is back to the morning. I am ready for launch. Now, I really hope this goes well because, like, I'm not really going there to pick a fight or anything like that. So, I'm gonna stay relatively distant from the actual warehouse, you know, the tape bots. Now everything is packed and ready to go. Now, the reason why I did make a platform like this though that does tilt over is because I want to save as much fuel as I can when it comes to my directional movement. So these bottom thrusters here, they're not very efficient. They're only level one. So when I launch, you know, the whole thing is gonna be tilted already and all of that work will hopefully be done. Now, I don't really have any way to make some precise calculations or anything. But I guess we're gonna try our first warehouse. Now you can see it off in the distance there. So we're gonna head over that way and we're gonna set up our portable launch pad. All right, here we are. Now the question is, how close do I feel like I should get? Now, I don't think I need to be super close. I'm thinking maybe like even just somewhere in this like general area should be pretty good. So here's my plan. I'm gonna back it up. Oh boy. Driving a trailer here. Okay, right about right about here. We're gonna make sure we're aiming Right at it. That's looking really good, isn't it? We've got the straight line going straight to the warehouse uh, Now we're gonna disconnect Okay, there we go. Let's just move our vehicle a safe distance away. And so we're gonna turn on our pistons Okay, it looks like this is actually rolling down the hill. So Maybe, okay, it's slowing down, but I'm gonna add stoppers on the wheels just like this. So let's let that settle right there. All right, there we go. I've moved them down to two. So that's looking pretty good. Now the wheels, they look like they are all rested up against our little chocks right there. So I think we're ready for launch. Um, where's my entrance? The entrance for the ship right here on this side. All right, break it, hop in. And first launch. Oh, I didn't put it on a control. Okay, that's okay. We're going. Okay, let's just take it easy now. Just kind of use the thrusters sparingly. Because we are going towards the uh, the whole warehouse here. It's not super fast. I think I definitely could have changed the angle back to that steeper one. We would have gotten there a lot quicker. But this is working. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, we're not really going to try and... Well, maybe, maybe we can try and land this thing. I'm gonna try and land it. Here we go. Nice and soft right on... Okay, there's a landing pad over there, but I'm gonna pretend that this is also a landing pad. There we go! We're up here! We did it! Oh man, so what do I want? What do I want to take? I know, like, these wedges are pretty awesome, right? Like, I feel like these wedges are a must-have for base building. So, I'm gonna prioritize these. I'm not too sure how many there are, but I think I think I'm gonna grab all of them. All right, that was it. Do I have room for anything else? Oh, barely. Okay, I got room for five more things. Unless it's stackable, then I can hold a bunch of them. But now, so there are these radio tower things. I'm I'm debating on like taking some of these legs because the, it's nice to have like one object that is just large like this. And come to realize, I guess there's really. There's really not that much up here. Over here on this side, we have support beams, and I think this is like some type of like rusted metal. Yeah, rusted metal blocks. Those are, they're all right, but I feel like I don't really need them for base building. I'm going to be using brick, metal one, and wood. Now these, on the other hand, okay, these look like they might be really nice for base building. Oh, wow. There's like a little, little tiny disc thing. This almost looks like a battery. Now, is any of this stackable? Can I stack these? 
Okay, those aren't stackable, which means none of the other ones are going to be stackable. Okay, and here's the other thing. I think this is the other thing that I was going to prioritize, was these large, like, quarter cylinder pieces. I think these are really, really amazing. So yeah, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to bring them down uh, back to the car, because of course that's where our chest is. And then I'm going to come back up for another launch, and we're going to grab these ones after that. All right, I got room for one more. There we go. Now here's the plan. I'm gonna hop back into this, and we're gonna do a drop, and I have a whole bunch of fuel left. That only took 20 fuel. I mean, I guess that is not nearly as high as the skybox, so I guess it does make sense. Now the plan is we're gonna go back to the chest, drop everything off, so I need to make sure that I just press the right button to send us off in that direction. Okay, it looks like it's going to be four this time. Okay, here we go. Launching back to our chest. Pivot. Okay, now take it easy. Uh-oh. Pivot back a bit. Oh, no, wait. This is really good. We're, like, basically going sideways. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, okay. I thought I was going to land it for a second, but... <laughs> a little bit of a crash landing here. That's perfect, though. That is so good. So we just grabbed so many things from the top of that warehouse... Let's put all of these ramp pieces right here. I guess I have room for a few things right here, and then as much as I can fit in my inventory. So we're gonna go up for launch number two. I guess I actually, I need this. Now launch number two, I think we learned something from our first launch. That first one, I, I think we, we didn't angle this enough. It took too long to get there. So let's set these up to, um, you know what, let's go to four. Let's just see what happens. All right, so it is now welded. This looks like a much better launch angle. Everything is empty in my inventory. So here we go, launch number two to the warehouse. Let me see where I'm going here, actually. Okay, I'm going into the seat right there. Okay, wait, hold on. I need to, I just, I don't want to mess this up. What's the button I have to press to fix this? Okay, three is the button I have to press. I need to remember, three. Three to fix it. Here we go. It's gonna move a lot faster this time too, so jump in, launch. It's looking really good now. Much better launch angle. Way better, and that was four. And that was like almost like a 45 degree angle launch. There we go. And, uh-oh, perfect landing. Now, this is why I came up here though. I want these final cylinder pieces. Whoops, I didn't mean to drop that down. Hopefully I can just grab all of these. Now these have a top on them as well. Look at that giant top. Do I even, like, do I even want this? Like, what would I even do with this giant dome? I mean, it is pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's something I might come back for. I'm, I might as well actually just grab the rest of these quarter pieces here, and then we'll just kind of see what we got at the end of it. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm full up. That's not too bad, though. That is a ridiculous amount of these. As for this, I think what I'm gonna do is... I am going to weld this back to something. Anything. Just like that. And I think those are ground structures as well. Okay, so everything is stuck to the ground now. But I feel like that's a pretty good haul. Now let's bring this payload back to our vehicle. This time, I do want to try and land. I think... I think it would be absolutely awesome if I can land this thing. Now, what's the button? The magic button is one. Okay, the magic button this time is two. So here we go. Time to return all of these parts. Uh-oh. Okay, this one is angling in a weird way. Can I fix it? I can. Just like this. Okay, now we're facing in the right way. There's our vehicle. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have time to fix this. Oh! <gasps> Oh, wow, I almost landed that. That would have been amazing. Okay, okay. I didn't land it, but wow. What a recovery right at the end there. Now, okay, I could go back up for like four things, but I don't think that's going to be worth the fuel. In the end, we ended up using... Oh, wow. This is insane. This is... It's 20. Every time I go up and come back, it's 20 on the dot. That is so precise. But, I mean, relatively fuel efficient, it definitely beats, like, having to, like, go through the warehouse every time you want to go to the top of it. And, and obviously there are different ways that you could go about 
going to the top of the warehouses, you know, you can make, like, stacked pistons. Um, I almost, you know, made a... a... a ground-hugging, wall-climbing buggy. Uh, but that didn't prove to be very good, and a lot of people suggested, you know, like, why don't I just make something that flies instead of that buggy? And obviously they were right, you know, that is definitely way more efficient, but remember, a lot of the things that I do are more about inspiring and, uh, and being a little more creative in the game. Now here we go, we're gonna weld this back to our buggy, and I think that's everything. Okay, I guess I have a little bit of concrete here, we might as well retrieve... Everything we've got, don't leave any waste behind. And and I guess now we've we've got all our stuff. Now I'm not gonna lie, that went way smoother than I was expecting. I mean I know I went straight to the skybox, but I was kind of afraid of the launch angles as well as having any type of stability control, because if I lost control of that thing and I ended up like in the middle of a like a squad of tape bots, or maybe even one of the big reds, that would have been like terrible news, especially with the fact that this, like, flying vehicle behind me on the trailer, it cost, I think it cost like three, almost 300 component kits, or thereabouts, or 250 or something like that. Either way, it's a very expensive flying craft, it's loaded up with fuel as well, and to see it get destroyed would be absolutely heartbreaking. So, a very successful warehouse rooftop mission. Alright, so, we're back at the base. We have a ridiculous amount of the giant wedges, as well as the quarter cylinders. These are very awesome, unique pieces in the survival world. Uh, so let me know down in the comments, uh, what should I do with these in the brand new base? Now, I have a couple ideas myself. Uh, my ideas was I was going to use this ramp uh, maybe on pistons or something. Uh, and and use it as like a drawbridge style access point uh, into my base. Now I already know how my base design is going to look uh, and I can see the application there, but if you have any other ideas then let me know as well because I have a ridiculous amount of them. I feel like this might be more than enough uh, for what I might try and do. Now this one, the only thing I can think of doing with it is turning it into like uh, different types of, I don't even know what I would call it, like defense turrets or defense towers maybe? Uh, so I would use either like three of them like this or maybe even all four of them uh, and and turn them into like some type of like firing post or something like that. I don't know. But like I said, let me know down in the comments if you have any other ideas for these really cool pieces. Uh, but guys, that is going to be the video for today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I really do appreciate all your guys' suggestions, you know, and being able to take this up on the warehouse. That was a great idea. Uh, we have so many new parts now, and I feel like I am more ready for the base move than I ever have been. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy the video though, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you guys want to tune in for some more endless scrap mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, maybe even turn on some notifications, so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanic. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So bye for now.